Wanderers, back here with another video. We're doing it on a segment, well, at least part two of stuttering. How stuttering connects to fear. And I want to go over that. Uh, you see, seen the last video of me talking about stuttering. I went over the, went over the basic um, speech impediment and also autism, which which Angie did her part of uh, of the autism video. So then we're gonna keep it going with little parts and tell you about the different lessons of how stuttering and autism affects us and how we can learn from it and to gain better knowledge about ourselves to improve our, ourselves to get courage and self-worth to be independent to know that yes we have a, a, a autism or speaker stuttering but that doesn't define who we are we still keep moving forward so i want to go into about how stuttering connects to fear and the reason why this is such a really good topic topic to talk about is because for at least for me when i stutter and stuff there is fear behind it because you are fear of being judged people making fun of you people criticizing you and it goes to where you have to stop yourself and breathe which is usually the technique for people who do have a speech impediment they have to stop and breathe in order to collect themselves but but along, but along those lines, you have to calm yourself with without being anxious and also with fear, without uh, worrying about someone laughing at you or judging you. And that is difficult at times because especially, especially when you are trying to introduce yourself and just for a little fat fact for you, um, people who stutter, it, it, you know, might find it strange, but the heart, but the most difficult thing when they're, when they're in, introducing themselves is saying their own name, and this is like a psychological thing because even I, sometimes I have a hard time s saying my name, saying DJ, um, I, I'm, I'm DJ, nice to meet you, because you get nervous, and then uh, still speech speech pathologists trying to figure this out, saying. Why do they get nervous when they say their own name? And I think it's along those lines of uh, saying who you are. You don't want to mess up on saying your name, so you so you worry about it, which can which, which worry connects to fear and your fear of messing up your name because you don't want to embarrass yourself of stuttering because secretly you do not want to show that yes you have a speech impediment. But in a way, you have to embrace that fear and say I'm aware of it. So I gotta tackle it because in order to be, in order to, to actually conquer, uh, conquer speech impediment or stuttering, you have to understand that yes, it's a part of me, but yes, I have to take control of it. And it's so important to understand the concept of fear and how does fear work, work, work within stuttering. So with fear is usually something you're you're afraid of or afraid of or something you don't ever want to do or fear or something happening that might hurt you emotionally or physically and when it comes to stuttering of course people who love stutter are afraid of being uh, afraid of others make mocking them making fun of them and them being the the, the person that's always ta talked about and talked around so then in order to conquer that you have to be be okay. yeah you don't have to be okay with people talking about you but you gotta learn up how to have the courage to conquer the fear and we'll get into cur how is uh, stuttering connect to courage but with but with fear it's you know it's a factor that does play a big part into stuttering because in order to talk, your brain has to slow down. That's why with stuttering, when you talk and talk real fast, your brain's trying to catch up. It's trying to catch up. That's why sometimes people suggest, people who do stutter, to read poems or read a music lyric because it's a rhythm. It's paceful and you kind of predict how it's going to go. How it's going to go. But when talking to someone, it's not as paceful. You don't know what words you're gonna say and stuff, and it's not smooth. It goes up and down, up and down, with tone of voice, you know, body language and whatnot, and different different vocabulary, and all those factors play in it. But 
of course that's not stuff we think about because we think about saying oh i don't want to stutter because i don't want to embarrass myself i don't want to make a fool i don't want to be judged some might be laughing and there, and there are people out there who don't understand what stuttering is that they, they, they don't understand it and and is that a problem yeah that's a problem because people do have to be educated into knowing what stuttering is and to know what autism is and to know what other other disabilities are are out there so they can fully understand saying yes these people do have these obstacles because for me personally i don't like calling calling, calling them like stuff that's wrong with them no because i see them as a gift and that's like another thing we're going to talk about how these things are a gift and how we can learn from them well, we have to learn to accept of what's happening and say, yet yeah, this is a part of me, I'm owning up to it. And then when you own up to it, you 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 have the courage. Then when you have the courage, the courage leads to you conquering of what's going on, which is fear. You're conquering fear. And fear does play a lot on you being afraid. But once you have the courage, then, th then the tables are turned. The reason why some people who do say don't have courage because it's a new playing field. It's odd. It's weird. It's not not something they're used to. And for stuttering, it does play on you doing stuff that you're used to, the technique or how you approach things and whatnot because it's safe. But then you do have to develop that courage and aren't to do things that are the unknown. Because with stuttering, if you let it take control, yes, it makes you sub. It makes you a subject. Of doing the same thing, being stuck in your own little circle, because it's fear. Because along outside that circle is fear, just surrounding it. And you have to understand, saying, "Okay, I gotta get myself out of this circle." Because honestly, it's not it's not right. It's not helpful. It's not help helping me out. I'm not growing as a person. I don't see my self worth. And you see how. Fear connects to these different aspects. It's like a web of things just going here and here and here and here. And you get to understand saying that I have to conquer this in order to conquer this. And it's a whole step process. But it's stuff we don't think about because our brain is constantly thinking, it's moving, things are going left and right and whatnot. So we don't think of this because the brain is automatically doing it. But once you start changing the pace of your brain, Guess what? The speech starts improving. Your brain catches up. Or when you're about to stutter, you have to learn of patience. Which is another thing which is connected to fear. Is patience. Is knowing that, hey, I have to stop and breathe and collect myself. And fear works off of you trying to rush, hurry up, and, and, and be extra fast. And that's the thing that some people who have speech impediments do have to understand. They have to slow down. I'm sorry, but you no, know, no, you can't be fast when talking. And people who do know people who have speech impediments and stuff, help them out. Say, okay, you, you need to take a break. Slow down, breathe, and you, and there you go. That speaks of volume. When you the person, not the when you you are the person who has helping someone who is stuttering, you tell them to breathe. Because guess what, you have you have gained their trust of understanding. You're saying, I understand what you're going through, so let me help you out. And saying that I want to help help you out with this process of stuttering, so then you gain the ability to not st to slow down the stuttering. Because you cannot eliminate stuttering completely, it'll still be with you, but at least that you'll take it down like a, like a whole notch and say, okay, I have control over it. And, th and that's where empowerment comes through, which goes to courage which goes to actually dominating fear. Once fear is taken out of the equation, then things are made are, are made a little bit simple. But again, there's whole different aspects that connect that, that connects to fear and these aspects of courage or self-worth or actually understanding yourself better they can work against you or they, they can work with you but when it comes down to it, it's all of your choice you choose of how you want to perceive it 
and how you want to control your life. No one else is not gonna, no one else isn't gonna tell you how to handle stuttering or how to handle autism or how, how to handle Down syndrome or so on and so forth, etc. It's all up to you because it's your brain. And it goes along the line of a big one is independence. Is learning how to control it for yourself. So you, so you gain independence over how the way you talk. It's good to get help, and when it comes down to it, you have to learn how to control it yourself so then you yourself will understand how it works and you gain better insight to how you how you are as a human. So you kind of understand seeing, oh, there's a lot more to it. Yeah, there's a lot more to it. You may not think about it, but that's your brain is constantly going over this. It's probably think, it's thinking four times about all this stuff when you're talking, when you're, when you're stuttering way fast. You're probably not recognizing it, but it's it's going through it. It's going through all of these steps really fast. And once you conquer these steps, guess what? Your brain's going to start reacting and working in a different way, which is the point of this. But guys, thank you again for watching, and thank you, you know, um, please like, share, and subscribe subscribe to our video, you see right there, so I had to, I saw right there, so I had to calm myself down in order to get the word out, I'm training my brain, saying patience, calm down, conquer the fear, realize your self-worth and then guess what the word comes out because now I gain the courage to say the word but remember guys and also to remember that even though yes you might have this stuff going on don't think of it as a curse it, it's a gift no matter who you are it's a gift because it gives you opportunity to learn about yourself you have the opportunity to learn about yourself versus someone who doesn't have what you have yes you might have challenge some things that are challenging but take that opportunity to put more work towards it because now you are understanding yourself and you gain more courage quickly to where to where you gain empowerment so again it's all again guys thank you and uh hope you guys have a nice day see ya